So of course today is such a happy occasion for everyone, but for myself and the family, there was always going to be a, a bit of sadness. I wouldn't be talking to you today if my dad was here, if he was here to do so. But I know that if he was here, how incredibly proud he'd be of you, Kat, and the person that you've, person that you've become. We're all so proud of you, Kat. You're honestly the best sister a man could ever ask for. I'm so happy for you today. I'm going all the merch. You're such a kind and generous person and you've always been such a good pal to me and everyone else. I don't think anyone could uh, ever have a, a bad word to say about you. And that says a lot about your character. share of ups and downs but no matter what you have always been there for us oh, gosh. I know look at her um, you've given us endless support and unconditional love and we will always thank you for that you are in perfect measure funny patient modest loving and you inspire us every day to be better people so thank you so much thank you we love you <laughs> by your side today as you married the love of your life but we got to share this honor today with four other beautiful women oh, Cheryl <laughs> why do I have this so emotional about I know I mean, Cheryl and Fee you are cats every day ride or die best friends like it's no wonder she moved 400 miles up the road to be closer to you yeah. you are amazing girls yes. and she's so happy to have you and Safi and Zila, oh my goodness, where do we begin? It's been such an honor and pleasure getting to know you girls this last year and a half. You are amazing. Kat has thought of you as sisters for over 10 years now, but officially today she can call you family and she is so lucky to have you as sisters. So, for the party. that the two of you have is incredible. It's not only a mother-daughter relationship now, but also a wonderful friendship. The Johnston family as a whole is extremely close, and it's one of the values that Kat and Caddy hold so dear to them. We know, of course, that you're missing your dad today. Sorry. But he's here with us in our thoughts, and he would be so proud of you, Kay. We are here today to celebrate the marriage of Kat and Caddy. As you all know, these are two high school sweethearts and they've been together for over 13 years. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be the companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. I, Caddy, stand here ready to take you, Kat, to be my wife, best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. I could have never imagined we would get this far when we first met on a sunny day in Countess Wells. Uh, <laughs> so much has changed since then. We've had an ocean between us, a global pandemic thrown at us, 
and we even survived that day at Bondi Beach. <laughs> but, but we always stuck together and I've never been so sure as I am in this moment that we're meant to be together. I promise to laugh with you through the good times, comfort you through the hard times and love you always. I promise to be your biggest supporter and to encourage you the way you've always encouraged me to get everything that you want from life. I'm so grateful to have found you so early and I thank you for your loyalty, love and for always putting me first. I've never known another love and I've never wanted to. My heart is, always has been and always will be yours. Caddy and Kat have given their consent, they've made very specific marriage vows to each other and they've declared their marriage by the joining of their hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce them to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride side. be the man I am today without you at my, at my side. You've taught me how to be caring, be loving and open my eyes to try things I never would have without you. For that I will always love you. From this moment on, with you as my, at my side, I promise to always live by the vows I make today. I promise to give you the best future I can, to be the best partner, best husband and eventually the best father I can be. I will love you whether we're rich or poor, healthy or sick, or even if the chocolate finally catches up to you. <laughs>
yeah, I didn't know what to say that I haven't said to you over the past 13 years. So, but then I, I was reflecting on what Zila and Safi were saying last night as well. And, you know, I might be granddad caddy, but actually I think I matured because I just want to give you everything. I just wanted to provide. <laughs> I'm not going to cry again. <laughs> I'm just trolling. <laughs> no, honestly, I mean that. I mean that. I, I just wanted to give you everything you wanted. You're the kindest, most loving person. You look beautiful. You deserve everything. And I just want to do what I can to, to make you happy. So, um, <laughs> not again, not again, not again, not again. Yeah, I remember when Caddy actually told me I'd be speaking at the wedding and he said, I asked him what kind of vibe to go for and he told me just keep it short and be bald. <laughs> and uh, so I've nailed the bald part. <laughs> also, a really special thanks, Ross, for on the stag giving me some advice about a best man speech. He looked me dead in the eye and he said, don't try to be funny because you're not. <laughs> and uh, he's also a very generous guy. I mean, look at today, we're all having a great time. Caddy generally always just gives from the bottom of his heart. He came to visit us recently and he brought a housewarming gift, he brought a coffee machine. But he also gives very generously, he's spent his life donating to casinos and... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd also just like to say a little bit about Kat because I've actually known Kat for longer than I've known Caddy. We, yeah, we go way back. And we... We... Uh, Not like that. But no, Kat, you really, you really do look beautiful. It was never in doubt. When I started writing this speech two years ago, I, uh, <laughs> something like that. It was the first thing that went on the page. I knew you'd look stunning, and you really do. Watching you and Kat maintain a strong relationship all these years has been an inspiration for me for when I find my own girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope that happens soon. Please, guys, pray for me. Um, I'm single. All you ladies know where to find me. Just over there. <laughs> I now realize these completely unnecessary insults that we're all used to from Caddy may be revenge from what I was like to deal with when I was a young boy. Uh, I'm, a young boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a man, I'm a man. <laughs> My name is Manny, so uh, I hope so. let her go and travel the world and do everything that she needs to do and trusted and knew that she would always come back to you no matter what. We love you for that. So thank you for letting her go and be the best that she can be. Yeah.